Chaewon might be one of the most prominent idols of the fourth generation of K-pop, but surely she didn't have it easy getting to where she is right now. From Woolim Entertainment to Soar's music, from Eyes One to Lesser FM, how did she handle all the controversies that surrounded her? Let's find out. Kim Chaewon, or now mononymously called Chaewon, started her K-pop journey as a trainee of Woolim Entertainment back in 2017. As you may know, this company is also home to K-pop artists such as Golden Child, Kwon Yun B, and Rocket Punch. You can say that they have a fairly established reputation in the industry as they previously handled the careers of famous Korean bands and K-pop groups like Epic High, Now, Infinite, and Lovelies. But having a decent label doesn't guarantee a spot in the highly competitive world of K-pop. That is probably the reason why William decided to send some of its trainees to the Idol Survival show, Produce 48, including the 11-month-old trainee Kim Jae Won. Produce 48 is the third season of Mnet's Produce series which gave birth to successful project groups IOI in Season 1 and 101 in Season 2. But this particular season was a little different because it collaborated with Japan's AKB48 featuring Japanese trainees. After a series of challenges throughout the show, 12 trainees composed of 9 Korean and 3 Japanese members won and became part of the project idol group called Eyes One. And it included Kim Jae Won in the 10th place. After joining Eyes One, Chaewon's idol life seemed to be going as smooth as she wants it to be. She even had songwriting and composition credits in the group's songs. Everything's good, or so she thought. Not long after, the whole franchise of the Purdue series came under fire for manipulation of votes in 2019. This is right after the fourth season, Purdue's X101, was investigated when the audiences speculated that the final votes in the show had been tampered with. Seeing that there are confirmed evidence of manipulation and even bribery, the police decided to investigate other Purdue seasons and Mnet survival shows. And surprise, surprise, Purdue 48 has its own share of voting manipulation too. Turns out, two eliminated trainees were supposed to debut with Eyes One. Trainee Lee Gaian should be the top five, while trainee Ha Cho One should be the top six. So the big question right now is, who among the debuted Eyes One members were supposed to be eliminated in their places? Fans have their guesses, but one of the most likely candidate is Kim Jae Won. Why so? Her rank rose nine places in the final episode. All throughout the show, she never placed in the top 12, but in the last ranking, she suddenly jumped from the top 19 to top 10. And what made the matters worse is knowing that Chae Won is actually the youngest daughter of the powerful and influential theater actress Lee Ran Hee with 30 years of experience. Having that kind of stability in the Korean entertainment industry, you can definitely protect your daughter from anything. This information was what made netizens think that Chae Won's mom might have pulled some strings to get her to debut in Eyes One. But honestly, no one really knows. All of these are just speculations and the police didn't really publish names and confirm anything. After that fiasco, Eyes One continued with their activities until they disbanded last April 29, 2021. Chaewon eventually came back to Woolim and participated in Woolim the Live 3.5 and some magazine photo shoots. After a few months of peace and quiet, there were suddenly rumors going around that Chaewon is signing with Source Music, a subsidiary of Hybe. They weren't totally groundless, but fans have seen that Woolim Entertainment has been removed from Chaewon's neighbor and Diam profile. There's also Yoon So Young, a performance director who works exclusively with Hive labels, was seen following her and another ex Eyes One member, Sakura, on Instagram. Months passed and the rumors were never confirmed. But noticeably, Chae Won seemed to have disappeared from the spotlight. She didn't post anything on social media and didn't appear on any activity as well. Fans speculated that she might be preparing for her new debut. But it's kind of weird that Sakura was in some photo shoots that time. There were mixed reactions and netizens left comments like, she's not the type to interact with fans very often. So it's not surprising that she went missing for five months. Maybe she's undergoing plastic surgery for her upcoming debut so she can't show her face. It was March 2022 when Hyben Store's music finally confirmed that Kim Jae Won will join the company to be a part of its upcoming girl group. The whole industry braced themselves because they will be Hybe's new girl group since 2012. And add to that, they will be BTS same company Hubei's or Juniors. That would really raise a lot of expectations. 
And thankfully, Chaewon amazingly met and even exceeded those expectations. On April 7th, she was introduced as the leader and fourth member of Lesser FM. Being a leader was already a surprise, but what's more shocking was the 360-degree change in her image. From the cute and bright eyes once Kim Chae Won, she is now the bold chick, hip, and sexy Lesser of Fems Chae Won. She clearly displayed these characteristics in the video teaser posted by Source Music. For Chae Won, it was a new beginning. It wasn't as smooth as she may have expected it to be with new controversies that Lesser of Fems faced very early in their career. One of her members, Kim Garam, was on the spot for the school violence allegations. There were also plagiarism and voting manipulations issues with their debut song. One member eventually had to leave without even finishing their debut season. And just recently, she had a minor accident with Yoon Jin while going on schedules. Dealing with all of these were never easy, for sure. But Chaewon is still here together with the remaining members of Lesser of Femme, waiting to conquer the things that are still ahead of them. So, what do you think of Chaewon's ups and downs in her K-pop career? Let me know in the comment section. Until next time!